Hello Taurus, welcome to your moon messages reading and this time the messages are coming from the new moon in Sagittarius occurring on 23rd or, to, or 24th of November actually depending where you are in the world. This reading is for anyone that has a placement in the sign of Taurus such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. In this reading I'm gonna check what energies are actually going to work for the benefit of Taurus? What? And we have the justice, we have a flipper. Good. And then what energies are actually going to work against Taurus? And then what the possible outcome from this period Taurus can expect? Against you, you have the Hierophant or your card. And then the possible outcome for the period, it's the High Priestess in reverse. Taurus. Everything that you take as actions oriented to restoring balance in your life and putting back harmony, putting back peace, and in some way justice, it's actually all these efforts are going to be proportionately satisfied with results. At the same time, you being against yourself, like the Taurus energy, uh, the Hierophant talks about tradition, and of course, traditional structures of power, and uh, Taurus, it's a real powerhouse when it comes to, you know, stability, when it comes to resources, when it comes to the strength to do great in the material world. But this period with the Sagittarius new moon, all these, you know, set of energies are actually going to work against you. One way or another, you are called to get out of your comfort zone. This is how I would take it. You know, you being traditional Taurus, it's actually going to work against you. And the possible outcome of the situation, having the queen, the high priestess in reverse, might mean that actually, you won't be able to use your intuition to get to the highest potential of this situation but what you can actually do is getting out of your comfort zone trust the processes to restore balance justice harmony in your life because this is the energy in a regular position of someone that is quite intuitive somebody that can read you know from the invisible world translate to the present situation right here and right now the Priestess itself, it's a person that keeps all the secret from the visible and the invisible world in her hands. And it's like a bridge between what is out there to be seen and what is out there, you know, hidden around us. And that's the majority of everything, you know, it's hidden. And this is like the bridge with all the keys, all the knowledge. For some reason, you won't be able to utilize, you know, the hidden, the hidden knowledge around you. But still, you are called to get out of your comfort zone and restore balance, Taurus. I am recording this on this video. I'm recording it on actually today it's 16th. Yes, today is 16th and uh, 16th of November, and it's mid time since the Taurus full moon. What I try to say is that exactly the middle of the period between the Taurus full moon and the Sagittarius, the Taurus full moon eclipse with the Sagittarius new moon event coming in like eight days. So literally, you are halfway through your Taurus full moon event. For you, this must have been a, you know, little bit shaky event, bringing a lot of, you know, pressure under you to close a chapter in your life, you know, to move on, to change yourself. All this pressure, it's actually 
a reason for you to feel like balance it's not available for you right here right now your efforts are not proportionally satisfied so in this situation Taurus I believe that you making effort to restore the balance getting out of your comfort zone because you being you like usually like all the time it's not gonna be really in your benefit and what is Taurus about Taurus is probably the sign that it's really not into changes these are people that are more stable when things are happening as they expect them to happen when they have the needed resources and when they feel secure about any decision any move anything around them in their life in their personal professional emotional life and in this period actually you are called not to be like usual Taurus the event of the new moon in uh, Sagittarius is happening in your 11th house it's the house of your hopes and wishes Taurus what are you dreaming what are you wishing for that needs your action and needs you to get out of your comfort zone whatever that is it's good enough of a reason for you to restore balance getting out of your comfort zone and believe that although you cannot trust to your intuition in this period or have you know complete uh, support on your intuitive approaches towards anything about this reading you still need to keep the faith inside of you to get you through this period because I see that some things are not going to be exactly as you expect them to be and uh, <laughs> you know just by itself Taurus not being you know the Taurus that they know you know it's quite you know of a challenge so let's put some more cards more tarot and see clarify all of these three positions for Taurus during the Sagittarius new moon event let's see the justice I'm gonna clarify with three cards and these are then the Hierophant another three and the High Priestess in reverse so let's have a look Taurus about this justice card well <laughs> we have ace of swords the hierophant again and two of pentacles i really see you working on returning to your comfort zone through getting out of it if that makes any sense to you i'm gonna explain you're gonna have an aha moment a breakthrough moment in which you're gonna find your path find your way find the new system of beliefs if you like your vision of how to restore return to your comfortable usual self but it's gonna be a process you, you have at least around two weeks to figure this out and you're gonna balance the situation yes probably between what you already know and what you don't already know and it's like you getting out of your comfort zone on one side and then balancing through this energy you know coming back to your comfort zone it might be the case or it might be juggling with your finances because tourists it's all about resources all about well let's say it money and resources to do with money <laughs> so you're gonna be able to restore one way or another balance through your business through your career through practical decisions and approaches to the situation which insist you don't act like your usual self Taurus get out of your comfort zone in order to restore your comfort zone in a further ahead in the future moment because you also gonna be having a brand new vision about what is all this about who are you with the balance restored 
but don't be shy away to take actions and to be proactive in this period because the justice card says that all your efforts will be proportionally satisfied and since in the mix it's your persona in comfort in power strong this is quite a good reason for you to take action also for the Taurus people that have uh, you know court situation legal situation and they expect some decisions in the period from 23rd 24th of November up till 8th of December approximately two weeks till the full moon in Gemini actually it's gonna be in your favor or all decisions of the court they're gonna favor you justice is on your side but this also means that you have to be flexible and you have to get out of your usual to get back to your usual self and this is a brand new brand new inspiration brand new idea a breakthrough moment and I really would like to witness this for you Taurus because you know it's quite of a challenge so let's see working against you we have queen of pentacles five of pentacles and <laughs> eight of pentacles seems to me that you might be in a situation when you actually have to put more effort on your talents attract the right business opportunity the right strategic partner and really in the meantime feel like you don't have at all which is really a challenge for you Taurus but it's a challenge for the better outcome I see you really working on your money in not usual not you know what you would call a traditional for yourself approach traditional you know way it's gonna be something completely different you're gonna be probably put more effort into finding new talents of yours that you can develop attract new strategic partners to do with business developments new projects you know finding an investor if you like and you're gonna be dealing with the lack in your life it might be also a low self-esteem that you have to be taking care of this you know situation but it's not gonna be you know in the usual way it's not gonna be the strong powerful Taurus that is taking care of this it's gonna be a different mechanism this is how I see it you need to be more innovative you need to be more rebellious according to your own standards Taurus this is how I read these cards for you and I actually see you since there is a lot of money involved you actually making a move you changing yourself in the process I really believe this is going to be the case because what you appreciate the most is your resources your security your comfort of living and you are called to have a completely different approach to life in order to get this feeling back the positive you know secure feeling of you having enough and feeling comfortable and then the outcome you're not being able to <laughs> read through your intuition you know use your intuitive approach it's for a reason as I said at the first part of the reading you have to have the faith you have to believe and even when you don't know the outcome even if you don't have a confirmation from the you know invisible world whatsoever your guides your angels whoever you are communicating with it's for a reason because they are kind of polluted the messages that might be coming to you might be coming from a wrong source or you might be using your intuition for the wrong reasons or read the information in a very manipulative way for yourself for your actions to do with expected results and a brand new financial material 
a business work career beginning. It's very, very twisted of a reading for you, Torres, because I still believe that after this two weeks period, after the 8th of December, when we're going to have the full moon in Gemini, which is actually your money house, the second house for Taurus rising, it's actually Gemini. We're going to have a full moon there and this is going to be completing this cycle for you of not being able to read, you know, with your intuition, the situation or read it for the wrong reasons, you know, manipulating yourself without even knowing it in order to, well, let's say it, <laughs> lie to yourself about certain results. You know, mislead yourself in order to get whatever results you're expecting. Something is not coming your way in this period as you might expecting it, Taurus. It's something to do with money. And I said, money is going to be an issue for you. Some of you might be making a lot of money in this period. Don't get me wrong. I don't say that all the Taurus people are going to be losing money, having problems with money. But I'm saying... That a certain result that you expect with a new beginning, you're not going to be able to find out all the, the information that you need. Or if you do, don't trust it. You're going to have the false information that it's really not going to be working for your highest good, Taurus. This is how I see it. And I believe that you having the faith can always turn the high priestess upright and, you know deal with this devil energy because the devil energy is nothing to be you know taking it's nothing to be you know not taking serious let's put it this way i really hope this reading makes sense to you i really believe and hope that you are going to use this advice if you find yourself of course in a similar situation because as i said this is a general reading and it's not for anyone Please don't shoot the messenger. I'm trying to do my best to deliver you my intuitive insight about any lunation that we have. And please let me know if this is working out for you, Taurus. Also, like, share, comment this video. It will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you very, very soon for your next December reading. Be well, Taurus.